Well, here comes the Scottish warrior. Carrying his trusted blade, Angela, McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania where he became WWE Champion. Yeah, now we're talking. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 233 pounds, the champ, Sean Sears. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. You do not want to get into a striking exchange with Drew McIntyre if you hope to survive this matchup. In the ring, we have Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior. Drew takes a lot of pride in his heritage and carries that pride with him to the ring. When Drew competes, he's channeling the legendary ferocity of his people, basically transforming the ring into an ancient battleground. Drew battles like he has everything on the line. Yeah, we know we can count on McIntyre to fight his heart out during every second of this match. But across the way is a man who's rededicated his focus. Someone who's been spending extra time training and scouting for his competition. Down with a suplex. Drew fending him off. Tackles ruthless. Great reversal. Was mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. position here. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Powerless position to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. Drew is known as the Scottish Warrior. He loves a good fight and is not the slightest bit shy about letting his counterparts know exactly that. Yeah, and in Drew's case, there's no reason to deviate from that plan. Take the fight to the competition and let the chips fall where they may. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Look out! Somersault plancha to the floor. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Clubbing blows. Two. Oh, dead lift. Ooh. Dang me. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh. oh. Offense like that is why Drew McIntyre is a game changer. And that's Big Drew doing what he does best, taking the fight to his opponent and ending up on top. 
Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Great strength being shown here. Oh! There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Wow, what a smash! That is just insulting. Ooh, man! <laughs> Stiff kick. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. We are European uppercut. The audacity. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Inverted DDT connects. Brilliant countering by both competitors. A counter answered by another counter. Returning to the ring now. Talk about a rock in the jaw. And will this be it? Kick out. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Positioning their opponent on the top turnbuckle and going to work. What are they going to do now? Ooh, exclamation point. This one is headed to the outside, not by choice. Hard to come back from that kind of impact. From the top. Side steps and backbreaker. McIntyre finally finding an answer to that onslaught. That could be the torch that lights the fire under McIntyre. Decision right on target. Muscling up their opponent. What a gut wrench power bomb. McIntyre gets met with a response. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a jumping headbutt. He gets back into the ring. Focus on oh up across the shoulders. Here it comes. Tiebreaker. Can that finish McIntyre? Two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. The Scottish warrior refusing to lay down his sword just yet. But you have to think that took a lot. <laughs> Just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. McIntyre needs to find a recourse, find another option to take this match. Oh, boy, he's stalking him. Watch to the sky. Look at the height. Shoulders down. It's all over. Drew McIntyre wins. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! It's all over and McIntyre stands victorious. Drew McIntyre's... Re
the EST of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville to the sea. Before dominating here in WWE, she was a decorated collegiate athlete. Yeah, but let's talk about some of that dominance here in WWE, Michael. Bianca Belair, a former Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time women's champion as well. It's starting to look like there truly aren't any limits that Bianca Belair can't reach. Here comes Sonya Deville. Hey, it's Shana, all about the New power, Jersey. and Sonya knows how to get it. Sonya Deville! Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. She cannot afford to let Bianca Belair purchase real estate in her mind. Not if she wants any chance of taking down the EST. The always dangerous Sonya Deville ready for action here tonight. It really is hard to pin down what makes DeVille so dangerous. Her incredibly sharp striking, her deep knowledge of submissions, her unwavering determination to win. She's a well-rounded competitor in the ring. I'm sure we're about to see her put all of that and more on display in this matchup. And she's going to be put to the T-E-S-T -E by the E-S-T, Bianca Belair. Well, we aren't here for a spelling bee, Saxton. We're here for a fight which is something Bianca never runs away from. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. <laughs> Belair able to counter. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Hip tossing her way out of a bad situation. Turns that back on Sonya. Ouch. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Corey, what is Bianca Belair's strategy when going into a match against an opponent like her? Belair says she's the EST, but she has to remember she's competing at the highest level. She cannot underestimate her opponent. Belair has to focus more on being the ER tonight. She has to be harder, better, faster, and stronger than her opponent. That one around. They're going to have to try to fight out of this. Sonya Deville rolls through into the triangle armbar. Got to pass the arm. Trying to free herself from the triangle. Left hands fighting desperately, and she's free. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Two! Fends off the three cow. Very close. The T clearly set again. Oh, here we go. This is raw power. Way up and down hard. Sonya's lost any momentum here. And there's what I was talking about, Belair focusing on being better here. Definitely not overestimating her opponent. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. first from the gourd buster she's showing signs of slowing now yeah a strong assault coming from bianca sit out power bomb she had it scouted she inverted face lock into an elbow drop sonya 
Cena can be looking to end this. Shoulders down. No, she kicks out. She kicks out. It had to have been instincts. That's the only explanation as to how Belair kicked out there. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. And Bianca had it scouted. to the back of the neck. And Sonya avoids that one. Ah, she's trying, trying to create space. Six. Bianca Belair taking a page out of the Hall of Famer. Beth Phoenix is booked with a glam slam. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table, none of these things are fun to collide with. She wants to put an end to things here. Up high, cross body from the top. Cover! Two count, kick out. She still has life. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Yes. Uh oh. And Belair gets beat to the punch. Able to get the advantage here. Muscling up her opponent. You know what's next. K O D. And the line for Sonya. Cover. And they're still in this. Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. And Bianca has to pull herself together, knowing that she was only a second away from earning the three count. Look at this power from Bianca Belair. I am stunned by what we've seen from these women so far. These competitors are redefining, digging deep, and giving your all. Now the leverage in this match is in Bianca's favor. DeVille needs to be resourceful in this situation. Shoulder tackle. Expected that one. Oh, swift takedown. So much damage inflicted. Right to the face. My God. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. DeVille struggling to defend herself. Bianca's at full throttle. Belair with a standing shooting star. That's Bianca doing what she does best, putting in the work. What a display of strength. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Oh! The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the guts. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Suplex lands. Quick counter there. Setting foot in the ring now. No! Cross body to the floor. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Sony's getting up, but has no idea what's coming. Bianca Belair for the county. Belair displaying power. She shoots up the top rope. Dave taking flight all the way to the outside. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. She manages to get control. Boom. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Few know how to be as abrasive as Sonya Deville. with an elbow. Bianca Belair has her in position. KOD. Will Belair close this out? Cover. Oh, she picked up the victory. Picked up the victory. Here is your
frustrating defeat for Sonya Deville here. Sonya really went for it tonight, unleashing everything she had. But her opponent just had more. The LWO looking to turn up the heat tonight. They're already feeling it, already feeling the energy of the crowd. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wyatt. And Cruz Del Toro, the LWO. The LWO is out here to have some fun and show just what they can do between those ropes. Never underestimate the LWO because they are a talented force to be reckoned with. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. And their opponents, accompanied by Meat Chan, and a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war. The LWO in action here tonight, a tight-knit crew. This team is honestly more like a family. Each individual success is considered a team success. Off into the pin. Kick out at one. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Oh, man. Kick to the face. He got whipped into that corner. right here with that display. Big right hand. Oh, my God, a close line. Tag. A running hurry, Colorado. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? 
This is why it's good to have a manager. It's good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do and will introduce any tool to produce victory. Such an underhanded tactic there. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? to the floor. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. He's burying elbows in the midsection. to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. He turns it around. Tossed into the corner. Oh, draping double axe handle. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Here comes the double team. What are they going to do here? The boot of doom. Got him. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Wild holds him off. Close line to the back of the neck. Shoulders down. just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Gunther. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium! Oh, yeah. 
It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. As regimented as a military unit, Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. And their opponents and a combined win of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Roberto Los Lotharios. I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat, but they brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. Angel and Umberto, Los Lotharios, set for action here tonight. These two have a tendency to lose their focus, but when they're on, they are absolutely impressive, guys. Yeah, Los Lotharios are not just smooth with the ladies. When it comes to the in-ring work, they have some of the smoothest offense you will ever see. Hopefully, they can focus up on this one. But when you face Imperium, you face the fight of your life. You'd be hard for us to find a more polished, disciplined, and lethal group of superstars. When Imperium gets in the ring, they are all business. Yeah, calling them stern would be an understatement. For Imperium, this industry is a serious matter that other superstars have turned into a laughing stock. And in Imperium's eyes, that's a wrong they themselves must correct. Crank in the head. Oh, that could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too long, Saxon. You might get caught. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. Ooh. High impact crossbody. And into the count. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Boom! And that broke Angel down a bit. Ludwig Kaiser certainly put his best effort behind that move. And a well-executed move we just saw there. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gouge! Oh, God! There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Things not going well now for Angel. Ludwig is being smart, not letting up an ounce. Territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Angel getting the crowd riled up right now. Oh, across the top rope. Oh. Suicide dive. 
Connecting with a sharp elbow. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Ooh, he powered out. Oh. Snap Merritt over. Uh oh Counters, this could be an opportunity. in time. That was getting close. And he's able to fight Angel off. Whoa, leaping through the air. Just He thinks he has it. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. And a kick out before the count even begins. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Double big back body drop. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. Russian leg sweep and the octopus strip. He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face. Uh, way across the top, bro. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Down for a European arm breaker. Cross body. Uh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Tag. Lives to fight another day. Instinct at this point. Way to steer clear. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh. Set up in the corner of the ring. Double super kick. Whoa. Somersault plancha! Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Oh, God, that hurt. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. An arm breaker. tonight. Just hot shot it to the outside. Rear shoulders down. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have to do to put this guy away? He went right into that turnbuckle. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. Just muscling up their opponent. Oh, my goodness. Into the power bomb. The close of this match is just ahead. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. He's one step ahead there. Vinci with the oh, Olympic slam for the win. Two. Oh. 
Chris Lock using the ropes. Wow! Does he have him here? Shoulder shoots up before two. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, strong impact! Absorbing that hit probably left Vinci's ego a little bruised. Technique paid off for Los Lotharios. Vinci! Spinning sit-out powerbomb! I'm not liking Roberto's odds here. With the precision of an elite military unit, Imperium does what they do best. Safe to say Los Lotharios probably saw that going differently, but at least they could still have their good looks. More than I could say for Saxton. Here comes the lone wolf. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Ready to take what's his. Baron Corbin is ready to go. And believe me, Corbin has zero concern about the wreckage and collateral damage. He's here. Boogeyman is as creepy as they come. Well, consider me creeped out. I don't like this guy at all. And his opponent from the bottomless pit, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman. Saxton, my sources tell me that after the match tonight, Boogeyman's going right back under your bed. Oh, no, he's not. I'm locking my door.
I mean, I guess you give Boogeyman some credit. He found a really unique way to make a name for himself in this industry. Well, he may make your skin crawl, Byron, but he is truly unforgettable. One of the most bizarre superstars to ever appear in WWE. The Boogeyman is set for action here tonight. I just hope he stays far away from our desk. Boogeyman has proven time and time again that he is far more interested in scaring his opponents than actually winning a match. Yeah, for Boogeyman, it's all about being his opponent's worst nightmare. Folks expect the unexpected in this one. But across the way is a new and improved Baron Corbin. After many tribulations, Corbin has rediscovered his edge and reforged himself. He's done messing around and demands to be both feared and respected by his fellow superstars. Yeah, Corbin is now a man with a purpose. He's a driven and merciless individual who sees every match as a chance to put his foot down. And a driven Baron Corbin makes for one scary opponent. It's been some time since the Boogeyman has been a full-time competitor in double... Oh, no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. A target... Escape and a takedown. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Situational awareness with a knee to the abdomen. Makes him pay with a counter. Two. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Oh, man. Insulting. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, what a close line. Moves outside. What's the plan here? What a headbutt. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Stop in the leg. Was mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stomp to finish it off. Corbin is feeding off the WWE universe and a clothesline. Oh, what a clothesline! That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. Boogeyman doing what he can to protect his territory. No, he kicks out. Not time to expect victory yet. Back suplex, no. Driven down. He turns it around on Corbin. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Blocked it. The knees up could provide a huge turnaround. Oh. Intercepted by the Boogeyman. Ooh, well measured. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. I believe his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh. Gross. A barbaric. He's struggling a bit here. The Boogeyman is an absolute terror with that type of attack. Into the cover. The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. And he powers out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. And a kick. What are we going to see from the Boogeyman? Incredible reversal into a DDT. He moves just in time. Stomp to the gut, too. Uh-oh. End of days. Incredible. Boogeyman got caught with all of it. Oh, he was almost finished. Oh, come on. Can someone put the Boogeyman away? Great kick out, but the guy gives me the creeps. And Corbin must be feeling robbed. I'm sure his mind. 
trying to get the three count. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Boogie Man setting up his opponent. Man, I wish this was Saxton right now. Don't wish that upon me, Michael. Here it comes. The Boogie Slam. Is it enough? The cover. There's two. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman with a haunting win here. Oh, I hate to say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds. Tyler Bates! Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bate is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Few competitors can match Bate's in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? And his opponent from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 200. And 82 pounds, Sam O. R. Joe. The WWE Universe is on their feet for this superstar. They are ready for unapologetic high intensity action. I would be shocked if we saw apologetic in ring action of any sort, Byron.
One of the youngest champions ever in the history of WWE, Tyler Bate has found tremendous success early in his career. An absolute student of the sport, Bate has breathed new life into that classic UK style. Throwing his impressive strength and athleticism, and there's no telling how many more accomplishments he'll add to his resume. Size has never been an issue for Bate. This is a man who's always standing tall. But he'll be facing off against someone who is trying to shut down all the naysayers. Someone ready to claim a spot at the top of our business. <laughs> Running swan time. And scissor into the takedown. Three. Measured knee drop. Two. Yeah. Oh. Three. Ooh. Four. Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Tyler Bate, a young competitor who has already accomplished so much, does that make him harder to defeat? It absolutely does, Cole. Bate has the confidence and stamina of youth. No way! Suicide dive! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Whoa. Thrown back in under the ropes. Right. Held in a perilous position. And a reversal by Tyler Bate. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Knee drop connects. Placing them into the corner. Lands an elbow. Kick right to the body. Boot to the stomach. Right on target with a stop to the gut. Great counter. Muscles up their opponent. Elbow throws him. Can Bait recover from that? Two count. Close! You gotta be kidding me! Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end from the apron. And another counter. <laughs> Firm control. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Senton hits the target. Oh, bruising attack to the body. He's on his heels a bit now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Three. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Taking off from the ropes. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Kick to the gut, double under. Tyler Driver 97. Did Bate end it there? He kicks out somehow. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. He deflects it right back. Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. Line. Gets out of there in a hurry. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Right to the leg. Crushing the knee there. Oh, he fights bait back. About to soon. Running Centon. He has just completely lost his wind. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. These two trading one blow after another. 
Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. The fight is on, and it's furious. Neither competitor is backing down. Look at that. What a leg sweep. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All the heart. All his desire. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. Okay, clutch locked in. It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your career. But his will to win it. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Oh, oh, oh. the cut. Sweat put into this match, well worth it. Here is your winner, Sam O'R. Joe. A tough loss handed to Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate tried everything he could, but he just came up short. Hopefully, he uses this as a moment of reflection to see what worked and what didn't, because clearly something didn't. Chase U is here. We're all about to get a lesson. Let's go! Let's go! Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's list after tonight or else they'll be put on double secret probation. And the Chase U section is firmly behind their representatives tonight. I'd hate to be the class clowns facing them tonight. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, 
always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos. And Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Just look at the Judgment Day. Powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers and a combined weight of 469 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Andre and Hudson Chase University. And their opponents at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The NXT Tag Team Champions. And the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Tag Team Championships on the line. May the best team win. We're about to get an education in the ring here from Chase U. Well, they're impressive in their academics. They're even more impressive in the ring. This is a team that studies the in-ring game very hard. And every time they step into the ring, it shows. I expect we're going to see some new things from the Chase U curriculum tonight. But I have to imagine they're in for a hellacious fight against the Judgment Day. This group knows how to punish you inside the ring. It can be a nightmare opponent for even the most seasoned competitors. Yeah, even if you don't like them, you can't deny Judgment Day is stacked when it comes to raw talent. They are a very well-rounded group that has an answer for just about anything you could throw at them. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, and a kick! Right to... Single leg takedown. You could be looking for the single leg Boston Crab. It is cinched in it. Using his leg strength to escape. Slam sets things up. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Great wherewithal on the counter. One response after another. Back and forth we go. As their opponent... Lift hard into the Ooh. corner, followed by the clothesline. And a rolling neck snap. The champ taking their share of hits now. Finn able to get out of the way. Snapmare. Not safe yet. Nick. Tagging his partner in now. He made it. Tag made. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. That is the champion demanding respect, saying I can control you anytime I want to. And a thunderous forearm to follow. Ripped in the hard way. Treating the champ like a featherweight. This challenger has plenty of power. Boom, right the button. Denied with an elbow.
That turns it around for Duke. Close line. What impact. Here's a pin for the title. Power right out at one. Not yet. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh, vicious body shot. Gotta hurt. Maximizing the pressure on the arm. Couldn't limit the champion's offense. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh man. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Bullseye! Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Priest dished out severe punishment, and his opponent is feeling the effects. Oh, and a stop. Oh, I heard a snap. And again. Tag in. He must have had that scouted. Planted with a neck breaker. Right in the mouth, relentless. Enough already. Ouch. Look what that did to Hudson's face. Down, glam slam. Free fall. to reverse that one. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. They got close there, it could be do or die time. Placed in the corner. Uh-oh. Able to capitalize on Hudson's mistake. Back elbow, blows that one up. Uh-oh. Oh, face full of turnbuckle. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alley-oop. Priest is picking the competition apart. Duke needs to trust his instincts at this point. Driven down with the tombstone slam. And off the tag is Finn Balor. In their foot right into the gut. It's got to hurt. He's heading up top. Thinking big from the top. With a championship on the line. Oh, referee in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hopefully he recovers quickly. This could devolve into pure bedlam otherwise. He's turning the tables. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oh man, he is fired up now. Ooh. What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. him off. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Finn Balor. Down 19-16. Here's the pin to retain. Oh, barely kicks out. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. These superstars must be wracked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? Yes, tag! Trying to work the arm. Now in control. Ooh, and a shot to the body, and another. Long out to drop.
Firm control. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Close line. Good Lord. So effective. Setting up for something here. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. with the back elbow. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. And Duke pays for leaving an opening. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. And we're still seeing the fight left in Duke there. Yeah, Duke knows you have to keep up the intensity in a brutal match like this. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Sidewalk slam. Oh, the Jordan through the ring. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Just stretching out the arm. Tagged in. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, oh he knew what was coming. Reciprocating the initial reversal. The oh, elbow caught him right in the bridge of the nose. Underhook applied. Side effect. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Oh! Come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Balor being measured. The end could be near. Turns it around. Oh, ouch. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Clean tag for his partner. What's Priest in for? Russian leg sweep. Oh, vicious headbutt. Just punched him right in the middle. Enough already. Close fist connects. I oh, the counter. Control of his opponent, setting up. Boom! Like he was shot out of a cannon. Top rope, putting it all on the line. From the top rope, Cody Cross. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Makes the cover. Oh, the ref in the wrong place there. The ref's got to be better than that. 
Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end. Planted with a wicked DDT, great counter. No, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Firm control. Big boot. And a series of vicious stomps. And Balor is back on the receiving end of the attack there. Yeah, Finn is running into some turbulence late in this match. Oh, here it is. No, oh, Scorpion death drop. Good night. Pin attempt for the championship. No, the champ holds on. Incredible resiliency. between the shoulder blades. Getting him into the corner. Oh. Pounding the bread basket. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Comes in off the tag. He takes control. Priest, top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Look out below. The one-two punch of high risk. High reward. Great across the top rope. Clubbing four. He's hit off the tag. Drop kick to the knee. That's great strategy. The champion. Tag titles, stay put. Here are your winners, and still the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. An emphatic victory for your winners, an impressive effort from this duo. The rampage at the heavy hands of the Judgment Day continues. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Here comes trouble in the form of damage control. You're right about that, Saxton. This is one of the most dangerous groups around.
Attitudes and personalities aside, Damage Control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE too, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it? Well, Damage Control looks ready for a fight, but most likely not a fair one. She is the one they have called the future of the women's division. Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. Introducing the challenger, from Tokyo, Japan. The WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky! And her opponent from Laredo, Texas, the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne. Social media is buzzing, as it always is when this title is defended. Dio Sky ready to take this match to new heights here tonight. You don't earn the name Genius of the Sky by being anything less than innovative, Michael. While her offense might seem wild at times, it's obvious the amount of planning and calculation that goes into each movement. When Io Sky takes to the top rope, people often draw the parallel to an air show. And looking for us, Byron, we have front row seats. And in the opposite corner is Roxanne Perez, a young woman who never stops fighting fighting to inspire little girls everywhere that chase their dreams just like she has. You've got to hand it to her. Roxanne's got the fight of a woman three times her size. Definitely something to appreciate. Running clothesline. Got her in her clutches. Oh, float over Russian leg sweep. Into the pin attempt. The challenger wriggles out in one. So resilient. Io moved at the right time. We know Io Sky has the ability, but could her lack of size be a detriment in this match? Like many superstars of her stature, Cole, we know it's more about the size of the fight in the dog than the size of the dog in the fight. And Io Sky is bursting at the seams with that fighting spirit. Yes. Solely focused on. Oof! The champ getting put on the back foot here. Oh, God! Really thought that was going to work, but now we got a human being we have to scrape off the floor. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Two. Oh, Buster! Three. And their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back.
what's this manager looking for under the ring? She has no business down there. And now thrown back into the ring. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, man. The champion into the cover. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Oh, that'll rattle you. Just a blitz of offense on Io here. It does look like Sky is struggling right now. <laughs> Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Roxanne Perez. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Near fall. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Launching. Meteor. Perez is taking over here. Perez is reaching that other level. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. She responds with a counter. Two. These two showing how well scouted they each are. These will keep you down. Eo Sky getting the crowd involved here. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Perez on the receiving end. Momentum isn't completely out of Io's side just yet. That could be the spark Io was looking for. Ooh. And Roxanne had it scouted. Planet face first. Oh, there's the old stump. Oh, snap your hamstring. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. The challenger is in some big trouble. And this is, uh, shoulders down. Championship on the line. She fights her shoulder up before one. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Ayo hey, Sky, floating over. It's locked in, the Koji clutch. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. Yeah. A neck breaker. Extra emphasis on that one. This goes to show you. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. Try as you might, you just can't get the title off. Roxanne Perez. Here is your winner, and still the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne. She came in the champ. She's leaving the champ. Well, she just proved you come for the champ, you best not miss.
This is one of the most complete competitors in the history of sports entertainment. AJ Styles. One of the most influential competitors of this generation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all-around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're going to see it on display tonight, courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. Here he comes, the best in the world. And he's not here to make friends. He's here to make money. Sent a message when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE. And CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. The bell rings, it's CM Punk ready to compete here tonight. The Defiant Punk never afraid to get in your face and just scrap with all he's got. Oh yeah, Punk has a him against the world mentality. Never one to shy away from a fight. Always ready to back up everything he has to say in and out of the ring. Punk is never going to let the chip fall off his shoulder, especially since it's gotten him very far in this business. But he's dealing with an exceptional opponent in AJ Styles. AJ is as innovative as they come in terms of in-ring tactics and offense. He's just got a brain for this business. Yeah, there's no telling what Styles will pull out when he's in the ring. He's always ready to break new ground with bold maneuvers if he thinks it will get him closer to the win. Oh, just turn that around. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Springboard! Springboard! Clothesline! Took it out at the knee. And after that shot to the knee, what could be next? Looking at this matchup, Corey, is there anything you think Punk needs to do to get to keep the advantage? Punk needs to make sure he controls the pace as often as possible. Take charge and make this his match. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Styles taking him by surprise. It's locked in. It's in. This could be it. Oh, just, are you kidding oh, me? An elbow, what a counter. 
Oof, that's going to echo in your ear for a bit. He had it scouted. Whoa, just floating through the air. The cover. He narrowly avoids the count. He really thought that was in. Job here. In. Oh, and he just kicked out. Unbelievable. I thought Punk was done for sure. Never underestimate the resiliency of the second city saint. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Oh, my God. Punk never saw that coming. Maneuver there. Two. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. A bitter loss in this one for CM Punk. In the end, AJ Styles reigned supreme. Phenomenal. Here he is, a champion twice over. Wow. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT North American Championship. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205. The WWE United States Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Logan Paul. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. Now this is going to be fun. And introducing the challenger from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. Trick Williams absolutely not the type to stand for any disrespect. Has a swagger that tends to rub some the wrong way, but he doesn't care in the slightest.
Time for talk is just about over. Uh, actually, Williams never really stops running his mouth. Now here's the man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And introducing the champion from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the NXT North American. The Miz, a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank, although he hardly earned it. Bite your tongue, Saxton. You're just jealous of the Miz's amazing legal skills. This is a superstar who truly makes everyone around him even better. Think about his gorgeous wife, Maurice, his two daughters, hell, even me. Uh, uh, what about me? What about you, Saxton? Miz doesn't want anything to do with you. The NXT North American title hanging in the balance here. The North American title on the line in this triple threat match with Logan Paul, Trick Williams, and The Miz. This is a dangerous match for a champion. The odds are against you, the rules are against you, everything is against you. Locks in the gut wrench. Suplex! Great counter! Jumping neck breaker, out! Triple threat matches are about as dangerous as they come. So here's my advice. Be ready to take some punishment. No one wins a triple threat without getting some bumps and bruises along the way. Just get in there and fight your heart out. Sounds like a straightforward, effective approach to this unique type of match. Say what you will about Logan Paul. The kid's got confidence. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. What's he open to find down there? Oh no, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Kendo stick to the skull! Whoa, not quite yet. Series of reversals. Logan Paul holds him off. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, he across the back of the neck. with an elbow to the stomach. Whip back into the ring. Good defense. The superstar hook in the arm. Look at this rush of strikes. Every ounce of the body is a target. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Sent into the corner. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Going for a pin for the championship. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. And there was some force on that move. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. The challenger eating up some damage. Looking for a suplex. And get suplexed instead. Ah, crushing 
Such a hamstring. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. And of the neck breaker, Vintage Miz. Trick taking a step back and measuring his opponent. I don't know how any of that was necessary. Some champion. Drop kick from behind. Nasty kick to the face. Up into the electric chair. It's a long way down from here, but countered with a poison Rana. Williams recognizing a chance to end this. Trick off the ropes. And throws it down with a slam dunk. The title might change hands. Placed in the corner now. Williams gets countered. Big slam. Black. This is turning into Swanson Street. He eludes the contact. The champ shoulders are down. up the pin. Body slam. The challenger not looking good right now. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nose dive now. On the move. Picking up speed. Oh, what a splash. Oh, my gosh. He switches it back around. Put into the corner now. Not a snapmare driver plants him. Tag with a punch. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Brought down with a neck breaker. The incredible self-confidence of Logan Paul on full display. What do they have? They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and... Delivering nasty stops. The Miz letting him know who the real... ...star attraction is here. Oh, well scouted by Paul. Using the elbow to escape the attack. And this might not have a pleasant ending. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Got it scouted. Oh, no, not with the back. Home run. The challenger is not in a great place. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Paul gets out of the way. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the strengths. Oh, a wicked clothesline. Oh. Clothesline. When you're this far into a match, you are surviving on instinct. Blow after blow. This is all about survival at this point. Ooh, chuck that chair right at him. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now.
Mello is money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo Hayes. You hear him say it. You hear the fans say it. Mello, don't miss. Now, for once, I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Can he survive intensity and power from another galaxy? I think the Ultimate Warrior is prepared to unleash fury on his poor soul. Here he comes, the Ultimate Warrior. And his opponent from parts unknown. Weighing in at 275. As always, an extremely intense look in the eyes of the Ultimate Warrior tonight. And yeah, that tells me the Ultimate Warrior might make even shorter work of the opposition than usual. There's the bell, and Carmelo Hayes knows it's on. Melo does everything his own way. It's like he's his own vibe. Oh, we know when Melo is not competing in the ring, he's in the lab raising his game. The man is ready for anything. Melo is run and gun. He's showtime, and he has the killer mentality that's crucial if you're going to reach the top of this business. But then there's the ultimate warrior. On the outside, he's as colorful as they come, but on the inside is the true heart of a warrior. The Ultimate Warrior's fighting spirit has helped him overcome many notable opponents in his career. Yeah, there's a fire raging inside this man. It's an almost animalistic drive that pushes him to never stop fighting, to never relent. He just keeps coming at you until he gets the win. Oh, Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. And here's a cover. Strong kick out there. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. <laughs> Snap power slam. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, his warrior is putting his intensity to work there. A lot of ways Carmelo Hayes could seal this one up tonight. What's his surest path to victory? I don't think there's just one. Melo's talent comes from his confidence and vice versa. Hayes needs to trust his natural ability because it's an everlasting resource. Tossing the Masai. Here he goes for the win. One, two, no, kicks out. That was a long two count there. We are witnessing superhuman power from the ultimate warrior. Military press. And now you can feel the power of the little warrior with a full head of stick. Uh-oh. Gets the knees up. Incredible wherewithal. Ooh. No. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. You can see Carmelo's eyes tracking the enemy now. That might end Warriors' chances. There's two! He stays alive, he stays alive! What a kick out! Warrior channeled the power of all the little Warriors to remain alive! Big move, but it's still unable to end this. This is getting bad, guys. Warriors' own blood is mixing in with his war pain. 
He needs to think about his career. Wow, springboard attack. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Big boot. This match is brutality starting to show on him. You know, Warrior is still on the warpath after that move. Kick lands. Warrior gets out of here. Good luck stopping Warrior now. He is a uh, frenzy of activity and excitement. Adrenaline overload. There is no one like the ultimate Warrior. Hit drop. I've been witnessing that. Uh-oh. And there's the cover! Trying to steal him here. And just like that, it's all over. Here is your winner, the ultimate warrior! A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Rollins is an architect, a visionary, and a revolutionary who adapts to challenges like a chameleon. Seth Rollins will do whatever it takes, find any strategy to further his greatness. This man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby. This is how you make an entrance, carrying yourself with the utmost poise and pride. Lashley holds himself to the highest standards. It's propelled him to multiple world titles in main events. The one thing you have to do is prevent Rollins from that ruthless assault. 
You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. Temperamental at times, the fire that drives Seth Rollins in the ring is undeniable. You can't deny that he's a very passionate competitor who goes after the win with all he's got. And that volatile temper of Rollins can actually fuel him in the ring, making him an unpredictable and savage opponent to deal with. Yeah, draw Rollins' fury at your own risk because it will burn you in the end. You can tell by Lashley's demeanor that he can't wait to bash his opponent into oblivion. Expect this one to be ugly. The Almighty is going to overwhelm you. Lashley's happy to remind people that the ring is his domain. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Solid contact from Bobby Lashley. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurt someone like that. And Lashley gets thwarted away. Slipped by Rollins. Lashley did not look ready for his opponent there. How's that for a counter? Corey, you've been in the ring against him before. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Ooh! It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. But absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. From the top, five-star frog splash! Perfectly orchestrated offense. Rollins' mind is certainly in the game now. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Inverted DDT. Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking. Oh, okay, oh, instead. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the corner. Hit to the gut by Rollins. Up high. Stop. The outlook is bad for Lashley. The cover. Three, no, two count. That elite level of conditioning is paying off for Bobby Lashley once again. Seth Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. Spear. Bobby has this in hand now. the tenacity of Seth Rollins. Now this is what you can expect from Seth freaking Rollins. And Bobby Lashley is gonna... Cinching in the hurt lock. Seth Rollins close to losing this match, Byron. Rollins has to hang on. He's gotta hang on. Full Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Face first. Driven down. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Look at this. Barrel this. roll, toe pain. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. He's just getting beaten at all fronts here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Knee strike to the face. And gets tossed back into the mat. Taking this match off the mat now. Oh my god. Moon salt! Did you see that height? Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Lashley is now under pressure. Lashley has to trust his instincts at this point. Seth Rollins. Stop! 
Rollins just turned the lights out. Turn around, right? The action's behind you. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins! What a big win for Seth Rollins. Well, Rollins certainly seems pleased with himself tonight. Rollins got what he wanted and what he deserved, the win. The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. A faction that has amassed unparalleled power. And the bloodline is not afraid to showcase that power. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion and the Undisputed. These men are the greatest of all time by any metric. We are talking years in the main event scene. Record-breaking title reigns. Dominant wins on the biggest stages. And they are looking to continue delivering in every department.
Here comes Roman Reigns. Once the enforcer for the shield, now his own man. And more dangerous than ever. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Despite his impressive in-ring abilities, many still see Roman Reigns as unproven here in WWE. They think he hasn't taken that next step in his evolution. A main event championship win would go a long way for Reigns in that department. That's something he's determined to make happen as soon as possible. I don't doubt Roman's determination, but winning titles and main events are easier said than done. We all know Roman has the ambition, maybe even the skill, but he's got to fight for it like everyone else. Well, this superstar has stated that conquering Roman Reigns is his destiny. And here we go with Roman Reigns, who's endured so much, gone through so many emotions, but the fact is Reigns doesn't care what other people think. Reigns is out to show you that you can't measure his heart, his desire, and his passion. If you get in Roman's face, you're in for a bad night. Believe that. Reigns combines sudden impact with raw power and has a spear with your name on it. That's how he's earned respect as his own man. But across the ring is the head of the table himself, Roman Reigns. Reigns has been anointed the tribal chief by his family's elders, and he is absolutely merciless when it comes to his defense of that mantle. Honestly, merciless doesn't even begin to cut it. For Reigns, everything is about maintaining the dynasty, and he's shown he's even willing to brutalize his own family to do so. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Reigns' lack of mercy being met in kind there. Roman just solidifying his position at the top with that kind of offense. Heading up, he's thinking back. Here we go. Good Lord, taking flight. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Facing Roman Reigns is truly one of the toughest tests there is here in WWE. What's the best way to pass? Get ready to go long and keep the pace. Reigns likes to take his time, and he gets in your head, too, with all that yelling. Be ready for a marathon, not a sprint, and don't let Roman intimidate you. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Textbook jumping. This could do it! He is still in this. Just like that, Roman gets stopped. Schoolboy takedown. Oh, no, wait a minute. Sit out, powerbomb. Reigns position at the head of the table being challenged there. Yeah, Reigns brought the fight in a major way on that exchange. Oh, that might have just broken something. Ah. Crank in the head. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Up and down into the protoplex. The big dogs unleashed. Just like I recommended, keeping a good pace and not allowing the tribal chief to intimidate him. Hoping to disorient. Ah, oh, had that well scouted. 
Snapmare delivered by Reigns and a He saw it come in by Reigns. That could finish off Roman. Cover. Two. Oh, he kicked out. Amazing. What resilience being shown from Reigns here tonight. I don't believe it. Reigns has ended so many matches that way, but this one just took an unexpected turn. Just cranking the head. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Reigns had that scouted. Superman punch! An emphatic, declarative, physical statement there. Reigns is dominance personified. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Able to get out of the way. Reigns hits it! Wow, Reigns nailed it! He breaks the ref's count before two. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Well, that's a free fall. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Piercing the throat. Uh-oh. He saw it coming, taking advantage. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Wow! And deep into the match, Reigns lets fly another heavy attack there. Yeah, Roman has had so much thrown his way. Reigns hits it! And that took Reigns down! For the win! Two! Wow! Just barely making it out! Amazing! What resilience being shown from Reigns here tonight. I don't believe it. Reigns has ended so many matches that way, but this one just took an unexpected turn. Strong punch. Reigns comes up short on that attack. That hit packs from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. Oh, stop right to the hand. Got the leg and dropping the elbow right on the knee. Turning the tables. No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. Burying knees into the body. Put his stamp on this one. Cover! Two! It's over! It is over! Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! Like clockwork, the win goes to Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief firmly asserting his position at the head of the table.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event, and the biggest prize. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. There are not many superstars more ferocious than Ilya Dragunov. Well, that ferocity, Saxton, has led Dragunov to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. Is he prepared for an opponent with the family pedigree and natural talent of Cody Rhodes? That's a great question, and luckily for us, we won't have to wait long to get the answer. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 100 pounds. And 87 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov! The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition.
And Cody Rhodes will kick things off. Really one of the more remarkable careers in the history of our business. Single leg takedown of their opponent. And there it is. The Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Suplex spiked. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Can't quite get him there. Counters. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. When you think of Cody Rhodes, you think of a lot of intangibles, natural ability, heart, the kinds of things you can't measure that will carry him through a match. All that and one more, Cole, knowledge. He truly has been through it all, but in my mind, it's his experience that will end up putting the biggest gap between the American Nightmare and his opponent. Dragunov clearly unafraid of firing his opponent up. He wants to fight, and he wants it now. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Taking it outside the ring now. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Oh, a well placed he dropped in the skull. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? And Cody didn't see that coming. Oh! <laughs> That's going to sting. The champ looking worn out. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You can say that again. Time to get the let out. Oh. Ow! Cody Rhodes felt that coming. And a double axe handle smash. With that action, the champ said, there's room for one person on this mountain, and it's me. Here's the pin. Title on the line. The champ just beats the three count. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. He knew that was coming. Turns the tables. Oh, 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 foot meet face. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Here we go. Suicide die. Whatever it takes to win. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Just one step ahead. To the back of the neck, Scottish Sickle. Shot after shot, they're slamming their face down. The champs ran on shaky ground now. Yeah, not looking good at all. Into the powerbomb. And that horrific force might have taken the champion out. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. Crossroads. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Shoulders down. They got it. New champ. 
champ. What a moment. Here is your winner and the new NXT Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. What a turn of events. One reign ends and another begins. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to...